Hi, I'm Galen George, and I'm an application scientist at Felix Instruments. Today, I want to discuss with you our Felix Instruments F750 Produce Quality Meter. The F750 is a portable NIR spectrometer device that has a wavelength range of 310 to 1100 nanometers. This instrument is used to create models that can do non-destructive predictive measurements for quality parameters in a wide variety of commodities. As you'll notice from the design, it is very similar to our F751 single commodity series, but the difference is that with the F750, you can create an unlimited number of models for any type of commodity you wish and for any number of quality parameters that you desire. So as you can see on the instrument, there are a series of models that are preloaded on the instrument itself. These models are not comprehensive models like they are on the 751, but they are a good starting point for people that would like to expand upon them to use them for non-destructive an analysis. There are a wide range of commodities that people are using our F750 produce quality meter on, and that those include things like citrus fruits and stone fruits and apples and cherries uh, and j things even like jackfruit uh, and other uh, tropical fruit varieties, as well as uh, vegetables like root vegetables such as onions or potatoes. And then we even have people using our instrument for uh, things like determining fat and protein content and meat and dairy uh, and fish and other shellfish applications. So when I say the customers can build models, uh, there are really uh, three things that you need to consider for this process. You need to consider what commodity you are wishing to uh, uh, create a model of. You are also uh, need to consider what traits uh, you need to uh, measure within that commodity. So depending on the commodity, you'll have different needs uh, for uh, determining uh, what the actual consumer preference is for this, uh, as well as uh, uh, the quality of the fruit. The third thing you would need to consider is the environmental conditions in which you are using the instrument whether you're gonna be using the instrument out in the field or whether you're going to be using it to in a laboratory setting or in a cold storage facility, these are all factors that are going to play into the model building process. And you'll wanna build your model using fruit that are coming from those same environmental conditions in which you are going to be using the instrument. Now, prior to even considering building your model, there is a process that we call trait viability that should be conducted as a preliminary step to determine whether or not uh, you uh, can actually measure the quality parameter that you want to measure in the commodity that you want to measure. So this is a process that us personally, we can't perform on every uh, commodity and for every quality parameter. We just uh, don't have the time or the resources. So we rely on our users to perform these steps as a uh, preliminary experiment before actually attempting to build a model. The first step in this process would be to perform some comprehensive research. Uh, looking at journal articles or going to the Felix Instruments website and looking at the applications, uh, there is a lot of literature out there that may assist you in determining whether or not the wavelength range of our instrument is suitable for your uh, analyte of interest. Um, and there's also uh, potentially articles that have uh, investigated a very similar uh, approach to what you are considering uh, using NIR technology. Um, so this is a good step to perform prior to uh, uh, doing any sort of model building. Once you have done your research and, and it looks like your commodity and your uh, quality parameter are both uh, viable, then the next step is to uh, ensure that uh, your uh, commodity physiologically uh, is able to be penetrated by the lamp of our instrument. 
Um, and I say this specifically because there are commodities out there with very thick uh, exocarps or rinds uh, that make it very difficult to uh, investigate uh, 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 or for the instrument to measure exactly into the flesh of the fruit. And, and uh, because of this, there is a series of steps you can take to ensure that the uh, the skin of your fruit is not influencing or uh, uh, stopping you from measuring the quality parameters inside of the flesh of the fruit. Uh, uh, for example, in watermelon, uh, say you wanted to determine whether or not the lamp was penetrating through to the flesh, you could perform a series of experiments in which you slowly cut away uh, uh, layer up uh, layers of the rind and take scans until you finally have the flesh exposed and you take a scan of the flesh itself if you see a change in the spectra between the scan where you had a full rind or uh, two-thirds of your rind intact uh, in between that those scans and your scan of the flesh directly then you know that uh, this commodity uh, is actually not able uh, to be measured non-destructively uh, because the exocarp is too thick. If your spectra doesn't change, then that means that your skin is not too thick and the lamp is able to penetrate through it to get an image or a spectra rather of the flesh. Now, after performing this experiment uh, and you determine that your commodity is, uh, is suitable to be tested with the instrument, um, you can then go and perform a study to determine whether your analyte of interest is a suitable uh, uh, parameter to be measured. To do this, you could simply purchase a uh, pure uh, analyte uh, for example, uh, uh, if you could purchase a glucose standard, if you were looking at measuring glucose, or if you were looking at measuring uh, citric acid, you would buy a, a pure citric acid standard, um, and then perform a dilution of, uh, of that analyte of interest, a series of dilutions, rather, and then take scans of that series of dilutions where you will then look at uh, the same kind of rainbow effect that you were looking for in the uh, experiment where you're looking at uh, the skin thickness. Once you have uh, determined that uh, there is a difference between the various concentrations of your pure analyte dissolved in a solution, uh, then from there you uh, uh, can be assured that your analyte that you are looking at uh, is able to be measured with the F750. If you can't see a difference in the spectra between the various dilutions, then uh, that analyte likely is not able to be uh, measured or quantified uh, by the F750. So once you have a model built, uh, then you can go ahead and begin your non-destructive measurements. Um, and people use this instrument uh, in, in a variety of ways, uh, mainly, uh, uh, people use it in harvest applications where they're making harvest decisions uh, and uh, also uh, is very commonly used by breeders uh, to do rapid phenotyping to determine uh, uh, traits within uh, different uh, genetic variations of fruit and vegetables. Another application that the instrument is used for commonly is in the quality assurance field. Uh, ensuring that uh, fruit coming in from a field or, or leaving a distribution center is of uh, high quality. Another application uh, that this could be used for uh, is in the distribution and transportation uh, realm of the, of the supply chain in which uh, you can be sure that from one uh, uh, distributor to another or from the distributor to the retail chain that the fruit has maintained its quality or hasn't lost too much of its quality so that you are selling an acceptable uh, quality fruit. Another uh, application and probably one of the um, 
most rapidly uh, uh, growing areas of, of applications for this instrument is in the research field. So due to its uh, versatility and its ability to uh, 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 have models built for a wide variety of commodities and traits, um, the instrument is uh, a, a very uh, highly uh, requested in the research community to be used for testing uh, uh, things like uh, uh, maturity parameters as well as in the breeding uh, world, um, post-harvest applications, um, and many more. These are just a few of the applications in which the Felix Instruments F750 produce quality meter is being used. It's an extremely versatile instrument and is disrupting many systems within the commercial agricultural industry. To request a quote, please visit www.felixinstruments.com.